What's up guys, Dathouse Dust on here, testing out Jerry Williams' teched out Dragon Lord deck. And I really do appreciate this deck. And I'm playing against uh, Dragoon and Drewers. And he opens up pretty well. I open up pretty well as well. I said well a lot of times in that sentence. But yeah, let's play up the duel. I do go first. And I draw into my second dragon, which makes um, my Sacred Swords pretty good. So since I can just, I have two ravines to pitch Tempests. I, I'm just going to search out the uh, Debris Dragon with this one. So I'm just going to send Redox to send my Kodomo Dragon. I'm not actually going to resolve its effect, because I want to be able to uh, use either Sacred Sword or Ravine next turn. So I'm just going to Debris Dragon for Kodomo. Make my Ancient Fairy wall up, gain a thousand, and get my third field spell. And just in case I was playing dra or Dragon Rulers, I didn't activate another ravine because I didn't want to lose it to theirs. So pretty happy with that decision. Set my traps then. Pass. So he he starts going. Like his deck just starts going off. He has tons of advantage at this point. Um he has two more sacred swords. He resolved the sacred sword and the cards of continence. And God Sacred Swords once per turn. So he banishes Redox and Tempest. I mean, he banishes Blaster and Tempest for Redox to search out uh, another Phalanx. To summon the Phalanx, and then special summon his Missile Tane. Uh, he maybe should have waited another turn to really go off his play's not that good, and he can't make Ancient Fairy and get, or he can't make uh, Crimson Blader to get over Ancient Fairy, so he has to make Scrap Dragon, which isn't the most ideal play, but you know. So I do let that go through. I'll take that 28 all day. I really don't care about it. So he sets sword for some reason. Oh, he has two. And six cents. But I have traps done. So I feel pretty comfortable. Now to draw another traps done. Sacred sword. Since I drew another blaster, I'm going to search out the level one tuner. So I was pretty happy about that. That's pretty good. Redox is going to come out. And then I'm going to... I probably should have ravined first. I really don't know why I didn't. But it puts Tempest back into play. And I'll make Crimson Blader. And this is why his deck is so cool, because it's teched out. Because I drew into this Econ, which he's probably like, oh, he's just going to crash with this Crimson Blader. And I had a trap in the back with play up. But I, I attack. And then I put his monster to defense position. And then I Crimson Blader over him. And he's locked out of his next turn. Set another trap stun to make myself more comfortable. Look, he tries to six sense, but trap stun's filthy. That sounds too good. <laughs> In that manner. That's why it's better than MST. This format. Um, yeah. Uh, Blaster. It's gonna come out, put some damage on the board. Redox. Search out another Redox. Pitch that Redox to finally put Title into play. <laughs> Vanish to for Title. So this is an OTK. I decided to search out Dark Spirit with. <laughs> Tempest, just in case I want to make a trade and read on play later on. But, you know, I've got game on board and he can't stop it, and I've got traps on the back, even if this was a real trap. So, yeah, that was just a really, really cool duel that showed why this deck won, like it did. And, you know, I thoroughly appreciate this deck and what it did. So, <laughs> I'm Dahas Dustan, and I'm signing out. Alright, guys, bye.